One great thing that you can do inside Prezi as well is animate your pages or any part of your presentation. And this enables you to zoom into details. So if you want to zoom into areas of detail inside Prezi, you can use this option at the top here, animations. If I click on animations, you'll see a panel appear on the right hand side of the screen. And if I press the plus sign, I can add a zoom area. So this would be really useful for our timeline if we want to zoom in to a particular date. If I click on add zoom area, you see a rectangle appears and this just represents the area that we will zoom into and we can resize that to get a much closer zoom in to that particular year. Once I've got that in place, I can actually test that out. So back over here on the right hand side, if I press the little play icon, that will actually just show me how that zoom will look so that I can make sure I'm happy with that. And then underneath the zoom to area that I just set up, I can press the plus sign again and tell my presentation to zoom back out to the page. So in other words, zoom back out to the view of our timeline. And then I might wanna do that again for each of the dates. So let's add another zoom area and let's resize that. And there we go. So that's gonna zoom into the next date. And if I want to, I can either zoom back out to the entire page and see the whole timeline, or I might just wanna move along to the next date. So if that's the case, I would just choose add zoom area again and drop that into position. There we go. So it's entirely up to you whether you zoom into detail and zoom back out or whether you zoom into detail and then move along to the next piece of detail that you have. It's entirely up to you. One of the other nice things that you can do with animations as well is get things inside your Prezi to slowly appear. So let's say for instance that we don't want the um, dates themselves to be there on the screen just yet. What we could actually do if I zoom in manually and take a closer look here, I could click on this piece of text. Now with it selected, if I then press the plus sign under my animations panel, I can choose fade in or fade out. So definitely worth mentioning that and um, you know it's a very useful uh, thing to do, slowly revealing content to your audience or indeed getting content to disappear at any time is definitely a very useful thing to have in place. So that's how we zoom in and focus on detail and back out again. For those of you who are used to using Prezi Classic, um, and very, very used to that way of working. This should come very easily to you. Um, for those of you who are brand new to Prezi, this will take a little bit of getting used to, um, but it certainly enables you to present your content in a much more interesting way.